Well, hello, film fans, and thank you for visiting my YouTube channel, Tyler's Real Movie Talk. And in this video, we finally got the Venom movie, so I'm only be giving you my Venom movie review. Now, I am a few days late on this. I actually did go see this movie Thursday night, but I've just been so busy, I haven't really had time to come up with this review yet. So today, I thought there would be a good chance here to give my review of the film, non-spoiler, of course. So if you have not seen the film yet, definitely feel free free to stay on the video as this is a non-spoiler review. But before we get into my movie review of Venom and what I thought about the film, I do gotta say if you're a fan of movie talk, movie reviews, and really everything of that nature, definitely consider subscribing and hitting notification bell down below, which will notify you anytime I have any new content coming out. But with that out of the way, let's dive right into this. So yes, Venom starring Tom Hardy. Now first off, I gotta say, this movie is not as bad as the people have made it out to be, and as people, I mean as the critics have made it out to be. Look, I went into this movie expecting a total turd in the wind. I expected nothing, and I think that might have helped me actually enjoy this movie a little more. I don't know, but overall... I do got to say that this movie was not as bad as I heard going into it, and I don't know why people were saying it was that bad. I actually found myself thoroughly entertained through this film. Now, when I say I liked this film, look, it is not a great movie by any stretch of the imagination. There's not a great story attached to it, you know, it's just, it's not a great movie. But when it comes to the entertainment value, I was actually very entertained while watching this movie, and I think that's what this movie wanted to do, in my opinion. I think it wanted to be entertaining. There was never a point in this movie where I was like, you know, damn, like, is it almost, is this movie almost over? I can't sit through this anymore, you know what I mean? I was actually really entertained throughout this movie, and from that front, I actually really enjoy this movie, and I don't know why it's getting such a bad rap. Like, honestly, a lot of people are making it seem like it's, like, unwatchable and it's like I did not get that from this movie at all I actually quite enjoyed it from an entertainment standpoint now, you know what I mean? Like I said, I wasn't expecting a great movie just because of what I've heard, so I definitely went in there with some low expectations, and that could definitely help make up my mind of why I thought it was good. But overall, like I said, it's not as bad as people made it out to be. I actually quite enjoyed it, and there are a lot of things I enjoyed about it. Number one, I really enjoyed... Tom Hardy in this movie. Look, Tom Hardy carried this movie. Without Tom Hardy in this movie, I don't think it would be as entertaining as it was because he put together, he went all in for this movie. Now, I'm not saying it's a great, great performance or anything like that, but you could tell he did not throw it in for this movie. He was in the story. He felt like this movie could work, and you could tell through his acting. He really gave it his best shot in this movie, and I think it went a long way for the entertainment of the movie because Tom Hardy is just such a gifted actor, and I just really love what he did in this movie as Eddie Brock. That's just my opinion. You might feel differently, but definitely let me know in the comments below how you felt about his performance because I absolutely loved his performance in this movie. Now also, since we're talking about Eddie Brock, I do gotta say the best part about the film, look, everyone's been saying it, only because it's true. The best part about this film is the Venom symbiote and the Eddie Brock relationship. There's so many funny things that come out of this relationship that I wasn't really expecting. Look, when you when I came into this movie, I wasn't expecting the Venom and Eddie, you know, situation. I wasn't expecting it to add a lot of comedy to the movie, but in the movie, it adds a lot of comedy, but it does it in a way that it really works. There is actually a lot of laugh out loud moments between the Venom symbiote and Eddie when they are interacting, and it is clear Clearly the best part about the movie for me in my opinion now I wish it didn't take so long for Eddie to get the symbiote but I understand they have to create the story they have to introduce you to this world and what's going on so that takes a little bit of time I understood that although I would have loved to see Eddie get the symbiote a lot sooner if you know what I mean now, also, I actually like the action in this movie. I thought the action was pretty good, especially all the action scenes with Venom. They didn't disappoint me at all. Maybe you feel differently, but they didn't disappoint me at all. I actually really enjoyed when Venom was on screen. That was the best part of the movies for me, and you know, it should be. For a movie called Venom, the best parts of the movie should definitely be with Venom in there, and it definitely was in this movie, so that's why the entertainment value of this movie for me, I was really entertained, and you know what? Another positive thing... I do have to say about this movie, I really enjoyed all of the performances, you know what I mean? I thought everyone did a good job and put in a good performance. Now, the villain, that I do got to get into a negative with the villain, because I did not like the villain. It's a one-dimensional villain. You don't really get to know anything about him other than he thinks the human species is weak, which is weird, because... 
you are a human, but whatever, you know what I mean? I just didn't like him very much, and I don't think his character was as fleshed out as it needed to be. You don't really learn much about Carlton Drake in this movie really at all, and I think that definitely is a bad spot for this movie because I definitely think you needed to have more of him in there, and I really didn't mind when he was on screen. I didn't mind his performance. I just thought the character, the way it was written, it was just a weak villain, and I just didn't care for it, and that goes for the Riot symbiote as well. I thought the Riot symbiote, I mean, let's be honest, it was weak. It was weak. You don't see it that often in the movie, and it was it was weak in my opinion. I honestly didn't even like the way it looked, really, and it was just weak to me, you know what I mean? But though that's really the big negative for me. But overall, like I said, I actually quite enjoy this movie for the entertainment value. It is not a good or great movie by any stretch, but the entertainment value for me is there, and that's what I went into this movie hoping is to be entertained. So overall, I actually like this movie, and look, if you're thinking about going to see this movie this weekend, but you've heard some of these reviews and you're kind of iffy on it, I would say definitely go give it a shot because you have to make up your own mind on things like this. So definitely, I would recommend you give it a shot if you're kind of on that fence and you just don't know if you want to see it or not because of what you've heard from the critics so like i said though overall i enjoyed the movie and i'm interested to see what you guys think about this movie in the comments below definitely let me know after you guys see it did you guys like it did you not like it and why or why not and do you guys hope to see some sequels coming out of this movie because i know that's one thing for me i am really hoping to see some sequels come out of this movie and i would be really disappointed if not because of what they set up in this movie if you know what i mean and also, don't forget to hit that like button and share this video around with all of your friends. But with all that out of the way, thank you for watching.